how are you so there's another question and the question says that a mass is released from top of a smooth ramp of height h so there's a mass and this mass has been released from the top leaving the ramp the mass slides on a rough surface so this is a rough surface and this is a smooth surface the mass comes to rest in the distance d what is the coefficient of dynamic friction between the mass and horizontal surface so there is a friction here so this mu we have to find at this some mu is there this mu we have to find out so this body this body came here and when this body is here this is of some velocity u and when the body reaches here the velocity becomes zero and it travels distance t so the, the potential energy at this point is m g and f so we all know that the formula of potential energy so this potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy and this then body will goes to other section and stops here so we know the energy theorem the energy theorem says that the work done is the change in kinetic energy so the kinetic energy of this block here and then this is the work done so the energy at level this should be equals to because we know that the total energy is same so it is also equal to the kinetic energy if this is point 2 and this is point 1 so the pi at 1 and ke at 2 will be equal so the kinetic so the potential energy is mg at and at here minus 0 because the, there is no velocity so if we say that the kinetic energy is half mv square so the velocity is 0 so this whole component becomes 0 so the work done is m g x so one equation we got this from the work energy theorem and the second we have to see the free body diagram at this level m g will be here and the normal will be there and when the body will move from this to this there will be a frictional force and this frictional force will be equals to mu n and mu mg n is the normal or the reaction force so mu mg will be the force so the work done by the frictional force we know that the work done by the frictional force is equal to the force dot the distance and distance is d so f is mu mg into d so this is the work done by the frictional force so now we will equate both these equations that the mu mg d equals to mg x so with m m goes off with g g goes off and mu becomes x upon d so we have to find the coefficient of friction dynamic friction that is x by d then the d option is the right option now we will check the mark scheme the mark scheme says d is the right answer so hope you understood what we have to do in this question first we have to calculate the work done by energy theorem and then the work done by the frictional force and then we have to equate both of these equations So thank you for watching this video if you have some doubts you can definitely put it into the comment section thank you for watching